man. So, Ruby Rose chose today to go ahead and embarrass Juski, dog. It's crazy. It's crazy. Or, 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 this may be more a part of the plan. More publicity. You feel me? Once the story dies, let's revive it. I don't know. I don't know. But let's talk about it. So, Ruby Rose posted this a couple days ago. And she ain't like the responses. So, that led to her exposing Juski. Listen to me, y'all know funny shit. Every time I stop dealing with these poo poo ass niggas and I stop smoking weed, like I get prettier, I get more money, my belly gets smaller, and like just life starts getting better. So, this is your sign to cut your poo poo ass nigga off. Mwah. So, I'm assuming people thought that it had to be Juski. It had to be shots towards Juski. Like this went viral with this dude saying, shaking my head, Juski was hitting that and she had to take a step back and see what the fuck she had going on. But Ruby Rose said, ah, okay, it's all done. I'm tired of this shit. We gotta tell the truth around it. So she says, um, and for the record, I never slept with that man. Nigga paid for PR, not that was. He is funny and nice though. I only give it up if I'm in love. I don't care how much money a nigga got, I'm rich as funk. So that mean you was in love with a nigga? See, I read between the lines. You was in love with someone else, but at the same damn time, you in love with someone else while being paid to be in a PR relationship. Kissing another nigga. Nigga, feeling you all up and shit. What is love to you, noobs? What is love to you, new women? Because this don't sound like love to me. Because I ain't no way you would disrespect your man in that manner if you love him to this degree, you in a relationship. You disrespect them to go ahead and take money to be in a PR relationship. Like, what we doing? And if, and, if, and if you are with a man, you just type of shit you say you are. I see you saying you ain't got to worry about money, but at least a nigga got to have some type of money that you ain't got to go ahead and take money to be in a fake relationship. But I'm just saying, I'm just thinking, I'm thinking critically, but nevertheless, we got Juski responding. And he just simply go ahead and post the love don't cost a thing meme. <laughs> he, he puts himself as the, 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 the Nick Cannon shit. But, you know, obviously paying for the culture, <laughs> paying for the love from Ruby Rose and shit like that, man. But it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. That's crazy, though. Like I told y'all, man, like, maybe this is, like, some extra. This is part of the deal, too. Like, obviously, people didn't think that we would, we, would be, we would be together. So, eventually, you can come out and say we wasn't together. And that's okay because any story is a good story, especially if I could flip it and make it something funny. It is what it is. The man still got some kisses, got a rub on the titties, and he probably, probably got some extra culture too because y'all know how women get when women see you in a relationship a happy relationship with a bad chick that you know someone who people perceive to be a bad chick women be like oh so whatever you doing for her has granted you the permission to be able to get a her the lady probably already comparing herself to her so they're like hmm let me compete for her position and then they go ahead and start giving up the coaching or whatever else attention necessary to go ahead and try to compete for that position that they may have thought that Ruby Rose was in. So it probably worked out for him. So in this, this time being, this little space, Chish probably came to him like, shoot, but huh, you know, deal with me. You never know. It may have worked out for it, but hey, here we are now. Let's look at some reactions though. Do say great response because he definitely gave her more clout than she provided him. He never said anything about it, but her, she should have kept it to herself. PR or not, he helped her too. He has more motion than her right now. I would not want to go back and forth with a comedian. What was the cause of her saying this? That man ain't the ish to her. She thought she ate with them tweets. All right, let's wrap this up. Max and Ruby, I'm trying to get back to the Dittler files. <laughs> oh man, don't ever flex on nobody that was nice to you. They the ones you want to keep her brown. She should have added an NDA in her contract. <laughs> should have added. Now nah, she should have, but should have added an NDA in her contract. This is why you don't go back and forth with a comedian. They find humor in anything. It's telling to them. I promise Juski not the one to pick an internet beef with, battle with. And together we would rise. We friends though. It's <laughs> Tyler and um, Kai. I'll never hate Juski. Hell of tomatoes for Ruby. Hell of tomatoes for Ruby. Cause shut up in here telling all the back end business. She definitely liked them. Had sis wearing no makeup and cooking for him. That was love for real. Okay, you you, you don't be gullible. That shit. If, Anything y'all see, like the back relationships, you're not gonna see this shit, dog. 
because it's natural. You don't want validation to help you like validate the relationship that you're in. You're not gonna see the best of the best of the best relationships. So with that being said, anything that you see from relationship on social media, if that shit don't look stupid, awkward, and weird, <laughs> like I said, just awkward shit, if it looks perfectly, you know, organized, and that shit is for you to see, it's coordinated for you to see. Now, there may be some true love there, but at some point, the true love may fade and they still may want that validation. So they will even continue doing the little, the nice little gushy, mushy shit just for you to look and see and like say, yeah, that's what I want. Because at some point that brings in more money and attention for them. So the, the relationship has different incentives other than just the love receiving a person. The incentives that comes in from the audience that views it, that becomes a thing. Sometimes it becomes more you know appealing than the actual sentence that you, that you receive from the actual relationship so be careful when you consume any these things now i'm sh i know a lot of people when they seen the ruby rose and juski situation a lot of people already thought my bad a lot of people already thought that it was it was some um, a, 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 a pr shit in the first place so the audience they're getting smarter and i like y'all for that i love y'all for that but um i just wanted to come and talk about this with y'all real quick because it's an interesting situation. We be covering certain things, but shout out to Juski, shout out to Ruby Rose. And um, they just doing their job and trying to, you know, stay in the blogs. Some people still look at the internet as just at the internet and they want to live their lives, their real life separately. But I ain't gonna lie. Ain't no, if I'm, if whoever Ruby Rose, man, you, you a weak man, my boy. Ain't no way my chick gonna be out here faking relationships on social media while uh, my family is looking like, ain't that your bitch? Kissing Drewski. And you know, nah, bro, she she getting paid for that. What what supposed to be like a movie or some shit? <laughs> a real life movie? I guess that's the way to flip it. It's like a real life movie, bro. Like it, it ain't really like it ain't real, you feel me? I mean, I know, I know, I know she kissing him for real, but then like real, you know, she getting paid, like how actors get paid, you feel me? It's like like social media, like reality TV, you know, reality TV is scripted and shit. That's how I imagine that conversation gotta be. Because it is true. If you guys don't understand, social media is an, is an extension of reality TV nowadays. You see things that happen on reality TV, they take it over and continue with the storylines on social media because that builds the beefs and back and forth and they put it on the screen or whatever. Whatever to sell the relationship or the beefs or whatever, it's just an extension. So things are changing. And you know, the audience, I just want y'all to be more aware of what you're consuming. And if you look at it as wrestling, you know, wrestling, whatever you want to look at it as, and you just like the entertainment aspect of it, but you're not getting too invested into it, but you know it's just entertainment, take it as that. Take it as that. And it, and it just be that. But hey, y'all let me know what you gotta say in the comment section below. I'm gonna get about it here though. This is another update with Stace. Yo.